Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue if your local area connection does not have a valid IP configuration. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And then into this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config, followed by a space, forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset once again exactly how you see it on my screen and hit enter should come back with successfully reset the windsock catalog you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset close out of here and then you want to restart your computer at this time And hopefully at this point, your issue should have been resolved. If you're still having a problem, one other thing we can try here is just to be to reset our network adapter back to default. The only downside to that is you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials close by because once you restart your computer afterwards, you will need them in order to get back on the internet. Assuming you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, of course. So with that said, let's jump into the next step, which would entail opening up the search menu, type in network reset, Best match, should come back with network reset. Go ahead and open that up. So underneath network reset, this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select reset now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select yes. And then you will be signed out automatically within five minutes. However, I will manually initiate that process here to save some time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.